Coming up on the Code Bet Daily, it is the EPL show for match week number eight. Arsenal are going to lose to Man City again. That's awesome. Stats guy. Can Chelsea go two in a row? I bloody hope so. Uh, Newcastle as well. I think they're going to continue goal scoring form. Nice. Marcus? I'm going to go Tottenham to go big against Luton. Nice. He also tips a lot of draws. I'm very close <laughs> to banning that. But it is a betting show. It's the Code Bet Daily <laughs> EPL show. Check it out. It starts right now. Welcome to the Code Bet Daily. It is Thursday, the 5th of October. This show is also moonlighting as the EPL Weekly Show because, well, it's Thursday and we're kind of lazy here this week at CodeBet. <laughs> I'm your host, Alex Donnelly. I am very flat at the moment due to Champions League, which is something that these two nerds know nothing about this oh, year. We know about Welcome winning. in the Stats Guy and Marcus. How are we, boys? Uh, very good. Chelsea have won more games than Arsenal just this week since Monday. Yeah, so okay, yeah. I'll take that. That's, that's a bit of a weird one. But how's, yeah, that, how's that table look, Dork? Oh, I, I haven't looked at the table in a while. I'm just <laughs> looking Bumped at the future. Bumped up to 11th, I think. Hey, hello. Yeah, it's getting closer <laughs> to the top. Table <laughs> mediocrity. <laughs> we got to uh, worry about uh, like Fulham picking up points when we look at the fixtures, whereas you got to worry about Manchester City and yeah, yeah not great. It's pretty uh, funny. Anyway, <laughs> stats going on right, right for an awesome website called Codebet. You should go yes. check that out. We are currently being what are we gossip columnists because we are doing <laughs> fake trades on the website as well as our uh, cricket world cup which starts tonight that we've got a piece that should be up right now yep. on the website we have nbl nba previews coming soon and of course the nfl and of course here on the epl show marcus for odds.com.au kicking ass at some seo as we learned before the show <laughs> definitely what's on odds this week everything everything, everything. Every, a lot of american sport a lot yeah, of cricket cool. world cup bathurst is coming up oh, as well yeah, yeah. i forgot about that so yeah um, go to odds yeah, if you want the bathurst stuff because we got nothing we know nothing <laughs> <laughs> Ford, Holden, same thing. Anyway, this is the EPL Daily for Match Week 8. Player props, game picks, and best bets for every single game. Oh, boy, we didn't do well last week <laughs> no. in the tips. No. I got three. That wasn't great. <laughs> that was Marcus so, got four, yeah, and Stats yeah. Guy got five because he fluked two draws. How the hell did I top it with five? It was a really tough week. Yeah, It was. A lot of upsets. A lot of upsets, yeah. Anyway, uh, that means Stats Guy leading on 42, uh, 44, sorry, me on 42, and Marcus on 40. The key takeaways from last week. Aston Villa <laughs> thumping Brighton 6-1. Mm, what the hell? <laughs> when you yeah. think about it, the way Brighton play... They're going to get smashed, yep. or yeah. they're going to win and win well. Like I when it was three one, one, sort of a bit like when how it was three one plays. down. They're like, oh, we're going to have a crack anyway, and mm. well, yep. it didn't work. So, no. uh, what crazy. else we got? VAR sucks. Yeah, well, I think I wrote that. That's me. VAR sucks. Yeah, did you guys see the well? audio audio of that? Yeah, oh, go yeah. check out the audio on Twitter. I think I reposted going. This is absolutely shambolic for. a multi-billion dollar Someone corporation. Someone compared it mm. to the uh, cricket where you, they have a script so they have to follow I, a certain I said script. that yesterday in the oh, office. I, I was like, they I need to follow the that. script. There you go. They, <laughs> they might have, have subconsciously heard it when Maybe, I was talking yeah. about it. <laughs> Sometimes like, I block it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But works. yeah, there was just three guys talking over the top of each other. They forgot what they were talking about. Yeah, yeah. well, because mm. they realised they thought that the goal was properly given. Yeah. yeah. Cost Liverpool the game. So there's a lot of uh, angry... The uh, two, well, the two red cards for Liverpool and they were literally down 1-1 with five seconds to go and Matip thumps it into his own net. And even those red pretty cards, funny like that one you could a... argue was yeah. and one probably yeah. wouldn't. If the first one was given as a red card on the field, I cop it. But then when the fact that yep. they go back to the replay and only show the still, not the lead up to it, mm. you know, I get it that it's a red card, but yep. I would have been fine with it if it was a yellow and it stayed that way. Yep. Uh, also, I think that result will be a great result for any team chasing the top four later in the year because I'm... Mm. Spurs are going to drop off. They've had so much luck to start the year. I know. But I they think are, they, are they almost bankers for top four? No. Or oh, no. they'd be decent odds, I reckon. No. Let's have a look. I'll have a look uh, at that. Anyway, why are we doing that? Chelsea yeah. finally scored we and won a game. Let's we go. Won. Oh, no, London Derby. Yeah, get the club London Derby. There, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It felt weird waking up uh, watching that at the end of that one. Two nil. I'll take it. Oh, oh, we're only coming up now. Two and two. We didn't mention this. A weekend for streaks being broken. Kyvert scores. Mudrick scores. Yeah, Chelsea win. Chelsea uh, um, Broja scores. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I'm in Streaks broken everywhere except for Enzo Fernandez, who still hasn't scored a goal, and Bournemouth have won more more games since he joined Chelsea. There you go. Oh, he's not in the team for goals, but that's all good. I mean, you still, they gave him a penalty and he missed it. So. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, speaking of people who aren't scoring at the moment, Marcus Rashford. Oh, mm. he's been horrible. Le horrible. Yeah. Uh, also followed that up with a stinker of a performance against Galatasaray in the Champions League, too. Yeah, yeah. that was very funny. Pretty Wilfred funny. Zaha, ex Manchester yeah. United. Casemiro Crystal, getting Crystal sent Bell's off well. Man. I mean, we did flag it on the show at the start of the season that Casemiro was just going to... Yeah, yeah. Our uh, man Woodrick has got the same amount of goals as Rashford this season, which is absolutely yeah. unbelievable. My man Havertz has the same amount <laughs> and of goals as Rashford. Yeah, which is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> Whereas Martin Odegaard has more goals than last week than all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the show rules. That's enough uh, 
bull bust. No tipping of <laughs> Erling Haaland to score any time. Obvious. Yep. No mention of Angel. Oh, I'm happy to mention that. No, I'm not. And no Chelsea in <laughs> multis. If Chelsea win three in a row, I'll give you... When we win, yeah. when they win oh, three games in a row, that's we, not happening. we can get that rule away. So you've won uh, one in a row. One, one, one. I'll take one. Uh, do we count Brighton in the cup? No. Ooh. EPL. This is the yes, EPL show. Yeah. Not, not that we don't give a crap about the Carabao <laughs> Cup show. Anyway, Brighton take on Liverpool. Brighton three dollars. The draw three eighty five. Liverpool two dollars twenty. Whose game is this? It's Monday this is midnight. Morning. at Alex, the Amex. Uh, yeah, sorry. So Marcus Sunday is- night into Monday morning. Yep. There we go. Um, as we mentioned before, Brighton got smashed six one against Aston Villa, um, which was pretty surprising. But also, you mentioned with the way that they play, they're prone to big yeah. defeats. Mm. Um, but it was the first time they conceded six goals in 11 years. Hmm. So and wow. that game that came against uh, West Ham. Mm. Um, 11 years ago. Yeah. So, wow. And then they travel to Marseille tomorrow morning um, in a very tough fixture in the yep. Europa League. So um, they're and definitely going to... And injured. Yeah, they're definitely going to need some points from that game as well, considering they lost at home to, to Athens yeah, to in Athens. that first, yeah, that's right. yeah, first yeah, match yeah, yeah. day. So they're going to have to field a decently strong lineup. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Marseille have got Pierre and Aubameyang, don't they? Yeah, scoring yeah, yeah. scoring yeah. goals. Well, so, scoring yeah. goals are fun at the moment. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, Liverpool uh, don't have to travel, um, and they play aside from the Belgian Pro League, so they can field a weak side. Club Bruges. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, we, we love uh, it's, it's Club, Club Bruges. Ah, <laughs> that's our um, combat favourite. But yeah, I don't think that could be the reason why they could get on top in this match. Yep. Yeah. Um, but uh, in saying that, I do fancy Matoma. Um, coming up on the uh, left wing to come up against Joe Gomez yeah. or even Trent, oh, yeah. oh, Trent, Trent Alexander-Arnold yeah. defensively. Trent can't defend. Yeah, they've been yeah he's got the trickery defense. and fast feet, um, just a triple, dribble past those Talk two or win, yeah. win fouls, win a penalty, those sort of things. So even Matoma for a goal I like at $3.60. Yeah. Um, but you can obviously wait for the assist markets as well when they come out. Um, but I've also been impressed by Jao Pedro in his start at, at Brighton. Yeah. Um, he's got four goals and assists from nine games in all competitions. So also keep an eye out for him for a goal assist market because I think there could be goals on offer. Yep. Um, in saying that, I reckon maybe even over 3.5. Yeah. Which is $1.92. Um, yeah. Because at least four goals have been scored in Brighton's last seven Premier League matches. It's last so seven. That's a lot of goals. Jeez, I, I think you're right though. You said how hey, you uh, compared Brighton to Tottenham, but you could even mm. compare Liverpool to Tottenham. There's all, the, all three of those yeah. sides play really attacking. Yeah, so when they're going to come up against each other, it's going to be goals, yeah. Are mm. we concerned that all three of these teams are like up and about and seemingly at their best early and they could just dip dramatically later yeah. in yeah. the game? Yeah, but we can only go off the, the way they play. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I'm just yeah. I know what you're saying though. And all three of those sides... Pretty similarly, they're like all in depth. Europe as well. Mm. Black, yeah, as well. So, so if they get hit by a few injuries, they are mm. screwed. Yeah. But the last time Brighton lost back-to-back league matches was October last year. So twelve really? months ago. Yeah. So that'd been awesome. There you go. And this is when we jumped on the Brighton train. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Liverpool actually don't have the best of records against Brighton either. They've only won one of the previous seven meetings in all really? competitions against <sighs> Brighton. Ah, I, I was going to change my tip. It's already locked in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, tips. I'm going to go Liverpool. I know uh, you were talking about Brighton then. Like you said, though, uh, that's swung me a little bit. When they're going to have to play that full-strength side in that mm, in European in Europe, competition, yeah. uh, I think when you look at the depth, uh, Liverpool can even play in This the is why a Europe lot of the league. games are on Sunday because half the teams this week end up playing in Europe yeah. like, mm. tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. that's why th- we got, we're, our three top games are actually all on the Sunday night, which is very rare. Yeah, what's been going on with that? A lot yeah. of a lot ga- of awesome night. games on yeah. at the same time. Uh, I, get, I get the European thing, but it's like, why yeah. not play one of these games on a Sunday night and one of these mm. games on a Monday During night? During the day yeah. on a Sunday is the like, prime time for English. No, it's, Saturday after, it's Sunday afternoon. Like, as in for like... In, uh, TV rights and pubs. Yeah, and but then I'm stuff, also yeah. thinking about like kids playing sport in the morning as yeah, well yeah, or yeah. in the afternoon. Like, yeah, it's a weird one. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go Liverpool. I think they just have too much depth for uh, Brighton here. And Brighton losing 6 1 just really, really worried me. So I don't care mm-hmm. about that. You don't care about that? They, they just roll and go, all right, one one week it'll work, one week it won't. Yeah, fair. Who are you going? Uh, I'm going to go a draw. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> he loves a draw, this <laughs> man. Unsurprisingly, <laughs> I just think Europe's a factor, but Brighton. At home, and I, I mentioned that previous record with Liverpool only winning one of the previous seven mm. in all competitions. Yeah, that sort of swayed the Amex does, yeah. so, does help them. As so well. we can't make it a rule, but it, there'd be Marcus can't tip more than two draws a week. <laughs> no, 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 he can do <laughs> but it. It's a betting show, so we got to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm with Liverpool more <laughs> from the fact that Brighton, a uh, couple of inju- injury worries at the moment, have to travel, 
and then have to face Liverpool, who are probably going to mm-hmm. play a half-strength squad tomorrow night or tomorrow yeah, morning yeah. in the Europa yeah. League. They, they have the yep. depth. that they, they, they don't have to play their full-strength squad in the Europa League at the moment. Mm. So, mm. yep. Status guy takes on West Ham and Newcastle for his preview. West yes. Ham at three twenty-five. The draw three eighty. Newcastle two dollars ten. This is at London Stadium again, Sunday night at midnight. So basically twelve oh one Monday morning. Yeah, yep, yeah. So uh, Newcastle slightly favourites. I thought they were going to drop even a bit more uh, since they were this morning. Should we mention this morning? Four mm-hmm. so, uh, yeah, one over PSG four this one morning. Four one over PSG, Hell's having thirty percent possession yeah. and completing like two hundred and fifty passes to eight hundred. That's mm. that's pretty. Yeah, that's well, a whipping, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> their form is unbelievable. So they won uh, eight nil. And then 2 0. So those were two of the Premier League games. Uh, yep. And then they won 4 1. You're missing up. the 1 0 win over Man City last and, week. And one, yeah. uh, I'm talking about uh, Premier League. Yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, You've so. mentioned a Champions League game. Yeah, here, that's going, Jesus. Uh, yeah, 1 0 <laughs> against Man City as well. So they just keep winning. Uh, and then 4 yep. 1 this morning was an absolutely unbelievable effort in their mm. first Champions League win. And I can't remember how long, probably 20 something. First years. home game in 21 years. Yeah. The Geordies were up and The Geordies would have been going crazy. The tune. Yeah. West Ham, they've been pretty solid at home at London Stadium. Uh, they won four of their last five, but haven't beaten the Magpies since 2020. One. That's two years. That's not much. Yeah, they played like four <laughs> or five times though. There was a lot of draws and two Newcastle wins. We'll get onto a worse stat in the next There's game. a lot worse than that, but I, I still oh, think for go. two pretty evenly matched sides. Uh, but I think both attacks have been really strong. So I'm going the over two and a half goals of yeah. both teams to score. I think this is an absolute lock. Two dollars. So just easily, I think both teams can score. They both play really attacking. I sort of like that game this morning. Could even be a 4-1 Newcastle again, but mm. just the way they're playing. Everything just hit the net this morning. Yeah. Sick. Uh, one guy that's really surprised me so far this season is Anthony Gordon. I didn't really rate him that highly when he was at Everton. Newcastle picked him up. He's got two goals and two assists so far in the Prem. I wouldn't be shocked if he's rested. He looked absolutely stonked at the end of oh, the really? game today. He was running everywhere. He got tackled on the 85th minute. He's on the ground. He's like, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, the, yeah, the high, handy thing for this one, it isn't until the Sunday game at least. So yeah. it's not on the Saturday or It was Friday. Wednesday night, yeah. Yeah, so, so it's not too bad. But uh, I really like him for a score a score a goal or an assist here at $2.50. Uh, I think that's really good value for a guy that's just been really surprised and they've been going to him on the wing a lot. Uh, having a look on the other side, Jared Bowen. If you're going to go anyone for West Ham at the moment, go him. What about him in my, in my <laughs> fantasy team? In your fantasy team, exactly. <laughs> Keep perfect. scoring. He scored in four of the last five games, which is unbelievable for a midfielder. Three dollars seventy-five to score. He's always mm. a bit better value than your strikers, just because yeah. people go, oh, he's a bit more of a midfielder yeah. or an on-the-winger. Sometimes he's not going to score, but he's as been scoring. As every you game. said, there's, there's going to be goals in this and game. And there's going to well, be goals. So so if anyone's going to get it for West Ham, even if you're doing a multi and you want to put him plus the over and things like that, both teams to score. I really like that. Yep. Uh, then just having a look, I think. I think Newcastle are going to win this one. West Ham have allowed their opponent to have 15 plus shots in seven of their last eight games. Those uh, teams include Sheffield United, uh, Luton and Lincoln City, who are obviously in a lower league. So yeah. they're allowing these sort of sides to have 15 plus shots. They Oof. did win a few of these games, but if you allow Newcastle to have that many shots, they're going to pouring goals. They're just elite finishers, as we uh, mentioned this morning, winning 4-1 with 30% possession. So you give them a sniff, they're going to score goals. So that's why yep. I'm leaning towards uh, Newcastle here. They've... Uh, I think Alex mentioned it before. They had 13 straight goals without conceding a goal. They, yeah, they, they got, got up to 16, to, yeah. 16 uh, until conceding to PSG this morning, which is unbelievable. And they won 5 1 the last time they met at London Stadium. That was the last time it was West Ham's home game last year. Magpies yeah. won 5 1. So I'm going to yeah lean towards Newcastle. They've had 11 different goal scorers uh, this season already. They look absolutely awesome. So $2.10, mm. probably my best bet of the weekend. I like it. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys leaning towards? Newcastle. Yep, Newcastle. Better. Yeah. yeah. The, I think. The result this morning helped back that argument because West Ham have been yeah. pretty strong. They're actually higher yeah. than them in the Prem, just by one spot in seventh. But uh, yeah, I think you've got to lean towards Newcastle. I just yep. had to make like five transfers in my fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, to cop the points deductions. I didn't want to make the, the, the priorities. No, I, I didn't want to make <laughs> yeah. the early like we're doing a show. I didn't want to cop the eight. The eight like uh, you know how you get the two free weeks to transfer players. I didn't want to yeah. do it this early in the season. Yeah. So I got to cop a negative eight here. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, uh, speaking of things that suck. Arsenal host Manchester City. <laughs> yes. Monday, 2.30 in the morning. I will not wake up to watch this. I'll <laughs> wake up at 5 to watch the replay. replay yeah. Yeah. No, 2.30 is just, it's a crap time. It's a perfect it time. Yeah, to perfect time, uh, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be up. <laughs> no, you won't. No, Arsenal, won't $3.20. The draw, $3.40. Man, sit here. $2.35. All right, let's start with the obvious thing here. Arsenal haven't beat Manchester City in the league since 2015 and City have won 12 straight. I thought yeah. that was fake. I was like, that's a long time, but it's right. Yeah. 2015. Sucks. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I'd actually have a lot of confidence going into this game if Arsenal didn't lose to Lons on yeah. Wednesday morning in the Champions mm-hmm. League. But breaking that game down, 
Lon's first home game in the Champions League in 21 years, similar to Newcastle rolling PSG this morning. Last season, they lost one game at home all year, yeah. and they lost the league by one point to PSG. So yeah. maybe them in 14th was a bit of an outlier, them more getting ready for yeah. Champions League. So Still a strong lineup though. Yeah, that you featured. Yeah, not ideal when Bakaya Saka, who every Arsenal fan for the last three weeks has been like, let him have a have day a rest. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God damn <laughs> for it. For the last three Man years. City this weekend. Yeah. He doesn't need to play against Lons. He can rest that game. Yep. I get it. <sighs> yeah, he might not. I read today that he's probably going to play. Yeah, they have to get him out. Teta they might wheel him out there. Insistent on killing him. <laughs> <laughs> it's he's twenty two, dude. I know. He'll be, his career will be done. Oh, twenty five. Had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> so many injuries, oh. and Kyle Walker's going to hack the bone. <laughs> anyway, for Arsenal, the win against Bournemouth was absolutely mm. slick. Everything seemed good, to yeah. click. Yep. They yep. just that could have been seven eight nil. Like, oh yeah, that makes sense at the yep. end of the game. Now, going across to Man City, who obviously lost to Wolves last weekend. Mm. This is an important – this is a stat for you, Stats Guy. I Since like Rodri made his Premier League debut for Man City, they have lost five in 67 games. <laughs> five. So they've lost five times in 67 oh, games that's crazy. when he's played. When he hasn't played, he's missed 15 games so far, they've lost five. So it's one wow. in three. So people, yeah, talk about your Harlands, your De Bruyne's and things like well, that. I was, I, was listening, I was listening to the this is, this is Football podcast yeah. with Alan Shearer, Michael Richards, oh, yep. Gary Lineker, and they put up the debate of – is Prime Rodri or Prime Busquets? Who are you picking? Oh. I think I'm I've going Rodri because it's I'm the going, Prem. I used I'm to have a Busquets, Busquets now. top, uh, so I'm a bit biased towards but that. Yeah. Maybe in five years' time or something. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I think I'm, that could swing. I got like recency bias, but I'm also like that team around Busquets was yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, it was amazing yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah the M&M. Yeah. But that's, that yeah. does yeah back up a bit how important he is to that team. It's That's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, um, Man City also won this morning against uh, Red Bull Leipzig. Yes. 3-1 yeah. and Haaland didn't score again. I know. What's going on? I'm worried. He's I'm really worried. How, good is, how good is Doku though? Yeah, yeah Doku is, is awesome. Free, yeah. What was that young yeah. kid? Uh, 82. Um, Nico Rico Lewis. Rico yeah, Lewis. He's yeah, he's good as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just another sick player for Man Doku. City. It's great. Um, Doku's like 20. 21. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so Harland has scored in both games against Arsenal last season. Yay! Uh, <laughs> the last five games between the two, there's been like 17 or 18 goals scored. We're going to see goals again. So both teams to score and over two and a half in the game is two bucks ten. Mm. The yep. over three and a half, if you're asking, has hit in 11 of the last 13 Arsenal games at the Emirates. Three bucks twenty five for both teams to score on over three oh, and a half man. goals. Mm. Haaland has a goal in eight of the last ten away games, and he scored the last goal in three of his last four. I need a market for him to score in the second half because he scored in the second half against Arsenal last time as well when his hair was flowing everywhere. It was glorious yeah. and scary, <laughs> and Rob Holding's like, oh, God. <laughs> has actually, has Rob Holding played a game for Crystal Palace yet? Uh, I assume you've looked that up. I'm as not we sure. Keep going. Let's have a yeah. look. Um, so if we can find a market on Haaland to score in the second half, that's not any time. I'm specifically saying the second half. Ooh. I'd be on that. It's not out at the moment, obviously, bending team sheets rules. and everything. It's a bending of the rules. Rob Holding's yep. played one game, but it was in the AFL Cup, so they don't rate him either. He was playing for Arsenal. Now he can't even get a game that's for great. Crystal Palace. We got him for two million bucks and he's over there. That's <laughs> good deal. Good deal. Anyway, I'm tipping City. Um, so I'll, I'll either get the tip right or I'll be really happy. So True. Yeah. You take a draw, I think. Yeah, you would. Man, I want to win. Screw this draw. <laughs> Getting points off them. If we win this game, we're top of the league. Yeah, that's crazy. It, it's, I think it's one of those games where you like, you play your team in the Champions League and you, you bet on not on your team. Oh, so you happy not, either way. Went, I, so <laughs> yeah. if you watch that Arsenal-Lons game, in the first 10 minutes, I was like, we're screwed. Yeah. yeah. And then we poached Settled, a goal. Yeah. Brilliant poachers goal. And then halfway through the second half, I'm like, we're not going to lose this game, but we're not going to win. And then we stuffed up and they scored. Like they had two world-class finishes and I was just like, ah, oh. And we, but we were never going to break their defense down. They dropped, they had a back six for the last 20 minutes. You were never going to break them. Tommy Arsu probably should have scored, but it's just one of those games in Europe. It just doesn't go your way, whatever. Yeah. I think a lot of attention would have been focused on this as well. Like, mm. given if Arsenal won, I'd yeah even lean towards a draw. But yeah, I'm going to go Man City. It's weird, but it's like uh, they still didn't like play great. Like, there's obviously a lot of changes that'll ha mm. that'll happen to this team coming this weekend. Like, Thomas Party is apparently a chance of playing. If Saka does end up playing as well, like yeah, it's, you need Saka to play. You're like, a lot yeah. more mm. confident about this Arsenal team the, yeah. than you would be. So. I'm not going to be shocked if the Gunners win. I'm just going to tip City because it's a safe bet. Yeah, yeah, agree. And safe bet at two dollars thirty-five. I think it's really good value for City when their record speaks for itself. So yeah. I'm going to get on them, Marcus. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go safe here. Back a draw. Oh, at, at the Emirates. <laughs> so, at he the loves Emirates. a draw. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got many draws coming up now. I think maybe one or two. I just more. love how we two of the first three. That's just a good but, start. Yeah, I'm going to go on, at the Emirates because it's at the Emirates. I think last last season City. I think they left it sort of late. Did yeah, they? Yeah, really we, we had we had a goal. Yeah, we scored. 
It was one all at like that half was an awesome time. game. Saka actually, scored yeah. that penalty, mm. and then we had that one slip up, <clears> and yeah. Harland scored. Or Grealish scored, and then Harland scored like a minute ago. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. So I think, but this game, but we were doesn't really game, have the same like sort of the, feel. Their about first it. goal was that we start again defensive shambolic yep. mistake. Yeah. where De Bruyne chipped the keeper. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah. Ray and Ramsdale, what are the thoughts? Yeah, that's here? What, discuss that. what have yeah. we got? I said as soon as one of them stuffs up, like Ray did, but none you of just them stuff, I don't yeah, think it's. It wasn't like the pass was a stuff up, but so far his goalkeeping he's been right, has been yeah. fantastic. I feel, I actually feel a lot safer when I the think, ball's going in. I think Ray has coming out is taking, a bit more consistent. Yeah, take, coming out and taking the ball from the cross, he mm. looks so just solid, mm. just yeah. like grabs all day. Actually, like Melbourne could probably use him in the forward line. <laughs> <laughs> Get a <laughs> goalkeeper <laughs> in the forward. Who's that guy? It was worth it, really. Yeah, I, like still, having both, I, think, like, I think Ramsdale's going to end up playing a lot of the AFL Cup. He's going to, when there's games where you have two in a week, he's going to play. It's yeah. just at the moment where it's like yeah, you probably should have played Ramsdale on, on. But if he's not getting first team football at Arsenal, he's going to. Like, yeah, want but to that's leave. what I mean. Like they should have played Ramsdale against Lonza. It's like, okay, we have a bit of a rotation going rather than yeah. it's clear who number one is now. Yeah. Look, you reward him from, uh, you'd think you, you'd reward him from last season. He, had a he should have played season. that first Champions League game. Yeah, I think that was a bit, probably, that yeah. was ruthless. Yeah. It is, yeah, it's very, very ruthless. Yeah. But we've seen Arteta has done oh, that. He, do, he does not care. So he he knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> does not care. I anyway, uh, let's get on to the rest of the games for the weekend. Let's rip through these. We have absolutely crapped on to start the show. <laughs> Luton <laughs> Town, they're on the board. Luton, yes. Finally. $7. The draw, 480. Tottenham, $1. forty-four. Sorry, Luton, you're going to get whipped. <laughs> yeah. Tottenham. Pretty much. Yep, Tottenham. I'm going to Tottenham in over two and a half at a dollar ninety three. James Madison Ooh. to get an assist as well. Oh, nice. Mm. I'm going to go Spurs uh, minus one. Uh, I think that's two dollars fifteen on Labricks. Cool. I think they're going to absolutely smash them. Nice. Mm. Speaking of teams that we hope get smashed, Manchester United at <laughs> dollar sixty seven. We are not biased on this Ooh. show whatsoever. It's a gambling show. How bad <laughs> have they been though? Seriously, <sighs> a lot of issues there. Yep. The draw mm. four thirty three. Brentford five dollars. This is at Old Trafford on Sunday one am. Mm. Who are you going, Marcus? Draw. Draw. <laughs> yes. Because it's a Manchester United. You can't back Manchester United. I can't I've only got three to be fair. Think, yeah, ten, ten Hag is just getting it wrong. Like you're pushing Bruno out wide to make space for Bruno's Mason Mount. A, yeah, one of the camp. best central midfielders yeah. in the world. He needs that's to one, that's I the point. I mean, Mount yeah. was good. Yeah. yeah. The only player who's playing well for them is Hoyland. Yeah. No, nah, but he's doing it in Champions League. He's not doing yeah. it in that's Prem. That's harder. To, uh, to he, he scored in the Prem. I think recently. No, he hasn't. He's only scored in the... No? He, no. Oh, it he was disallowed. Oh, yeah, he was offside. Right. No, Gabriel's a magician. <laughs> what up? VR actually got one right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go Man U. I know they've been absolutely horrible, but I just trust them more at home. Brentford mm. have looked pretty average themselves. They drew a couple of draws they probably should have won. Uh, and Bermo, in Bermo hasn't scored in, I think it's three weeks or four mm. weeks now. So I'm not trusting them. But I do think uh, both teams can score. Just Man United's defence in pretty much every game in the last couple of months has been horrible. So Man U and both teams score at $3.11. I think it's a bit of value there. I can't believe Brentford are $5 at the value. I'm going to tip them. Ooh, United ooh. have lost two Four games at Old ones. Trafford in like four days. They lost to Crystal Palace yeah. over the weekend yeah. and then they lost to Galatasaray. Like, don't know what's going on there. So I'm going to have something on Brentford because I think Brentford are a better team than Crystal Palace. Uh, all right, Fulham, $1.62. The draw, 385 Crystal Palace are not better than, than Brentford. Oh, I, I would... I would the way they're at playing the at the moment on the table. Yeah. Though, under, yeah. under Roy. Sheffield United, $6. Crystal Palace are boring. <laughs> anyway, Fulham are going to beat Sheffield United. <sighs> Sheffield, what are you doing? Sheffield, yeah, they've been stinking it up. But uh, you get a bit of value. We may have to change mm. the Luton tier in our tiers. Yeah, to Sheffield yep. United, yeah. Uh, Fulham, I'm going to go Fulham and under two and a half goals at $3.70. You get well, really mm, good value. Even for worked three, for you the other night. Even for Fulham yeah, like and under uh, three and a half goals, it's like over $2. I think it's... Because yeah, uh, they lost 8-0 the other week, people are thinking, oh, yeah, Sheffield are going to get smashed. Fulham don't yeah. have the attack to yeah, they're uh, not scoring score goals either, more than really. two goals, I think. So I'm going to go yeah. to Fulham and under two and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. I'm going to back Fulham. Not con I'm not convinced by yeah. Fulham, yeah. but I think they At should get the well. job done yeah. against Sheffield. They're going to do enough to survive this year. They'll be like 15th. Just yeah. Like yeah, I reckon as well, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is yuck. Everton, a dollar ninety-five. The draw, three seventy-five. Bournemouth, three eighty. This is Sunday, one a.m. Yeah, well. This will be a three-minute highlighter for me on Optus Sport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tipping the draw. I can't trust Everton after they lost last week to Luton. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm going to go Bournemouth just because of that reason. I, I can't yeah. believe they lost to Luton. We but were, surely Sean Dyche is just making them run laps. Uh, yeah, I know. Ship up it, or probably, ship out. it probably is. They're probably running laps and they're going to be tired on the weekend. Bournemouth three dollars eighty is yeah I really like those odds. Uh, yeah. and then another one I think is going to be a major difference in this one. Dominic Solanke. Also, Bournemouth did get flogged last yes. week. 
at home. They did, but Everton, are, yeah, I reckon they're more on par than this the could be the suggested. worst nil all draw. Yeah, it could be like a one nil nil all. If there's going to be one nil to Bournemouth, I think Solanke's going to score four dollars. I think it's really good value because they're the underdogs. Yeah, and he's got four goal, con- goal contributions already this season. So good word, stats in. guy. Yeah, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Bournemouth are the, one of only two teams not to win a game so far this uh, season. Oh. I think they're playing decent football. They're playing better than what the record um, suggests. But they got. I'm gonna I'm gonna back them here against Everton. Um, yep. But they need to get points because they've got Everton. Wolves and Burnley in the next three weeks. They and should win two. They haven't. Yeah, if they, they win, win two, two and draw two, probably win two. The funny thing is, like a, a win right now just gets you out of the relegation zone. Yeah, I yeah. know it's only it's match only week early, eight, but geez, we're worried about a couple of teams at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Burnley five dollars. The draw four dollars. Chelsea dollar sixty seven. Turf more Sunday one a.m. Jesus, if you guys don't win this one, <laughs> honestly, Ch- I'm no, Chelsea. Burnley are in form now. They beat Luton. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they beat Luton, yeah. Away that was from, the other away from home, home. That's a tough fixture away from home at Kenilworth Road. Kenilworth Road in the right. in the non Premier League standard stadium. I was too busy watching Champions League. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was much like that. We're not gonna compete with that. Uh I'm gonna go <laughs> my blues or our blues. Two in a row uh in the Premier League. I'm gonna go but I'm gonna go under two and a half goals. We've only scored, what is it, two goals in the last month and a half in that game mm. against Fulham. So <laughs> Chelsea and under two and a half goals is four dollars twenty. At least you scored a, a goal in October. Good job, boys. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go well we won. Every game in all competitions based on XG, we would have won the game. <laughs> That's great. So we're so doing the right thing. That's what I'm trying, yeah, to, I, trying to say. We just, this is also like we did talk about Liverpool at the halfway st- uh, during the World Cup last year when we were waiting for the EPL to come back. Like they Liverpool should be and XG more, should have yeah. been third. Yeah, I think, so I think hopefully things are starting to click, and yeah. I think because Mudrick was just a sign. You're still going to finish seventh, though. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I'll 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 I think we should. I think I can't favorites, believe we're all going Chelsea. This is the first time in probably a year that we've all tipped Chelsea more. the same week. I yeah, reckon. probably. <laughs> that would have been odd. No, I would have tipped. Oh, no, I didn't. So actually. don't back them. Don't back them this week <laughs> if we've all tipped them. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Crystal Palace two dollars twenty. The draw three thirty. Knots three dollars forty. Because it's at Selhurst Park Sunday three thirty in the morning. I'm going to tip Crystal Palace. I'm the same. I know. I think uh, Palace, yes, as we just mentioned, I think they're slightly ahead of Brentford. They're ninth they're in the top half of the table where they always seem to be around that ninth to 13th. I think they've done the last six seasons or something. Mm. So I'm going to go, yeah, Palace at home. They're not too bad. Not, I haven't, I've been a bit uh, average about uh, getting winning hey, goals. you changed that. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Marcus he's allowed, just he's changed his tip. He's allowed to do it. So I was thinking, he was thinking, I was thinking draw. maybe a draw. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gerald's laughing <laughs> but then, uh, then I remembered you know what they're attacking Spark Brennan Johnson is out, out at Spurs now yes um, doing he's bits and I think pretty good for Palace I just like I just like Roy Hodgson yeah um, I, just, I swear home. he doesn't even know where he is but he's a really good coach they said he was washed up <laughs> 20 years ago and he's, he's still getting how old is he 76 oh, yes yeah, so uh, final game of the weekend this is dragging out Wolverhampton 350 the draw 350 Aston Villa 2 bucks 10 the Molyneux Monday midnight I'm tipping the draw in this one just because Wolves will be up and about after last week and Villa their form has been very very mixed and matched to say the least yeah mm-hmm. it has uh, I, I'm going to back Villa I think they've you got Ollie Watkins who is in amazing form again yeah. very mixed and matched he is a bit mixed match. he got a hat-trick though against Brighton uh, if they can beat Brighton 6-1 Wolves are a few tiers below so I'm going to go. Uh, they up. just beat yeah, Man we, City. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know how <laughs> with uh, Hangry Chan, the Korean guy that oh, Pep forgot Pep. who his name was. <laughs> yeah, Pep, can you say that about that um, that German guy? That's yeah, like yeah. the way he said that. Prime yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The German guy. Well, <laughs> well I think um, well, Watkins hadn't scored in his first six, but then yeah. played Chelsea. We put players in the form. Scored yeah, against, true, true. Sco- he scored yeah, against. Yeah, when do we play you guys? Also. It's later this month, right? <laughs> What? I we should do a live stream, yeah. even if no, it's like it's in the middle of the night. No, I'll be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we well, had no, that we'll last get you, one. We'll get you here. We'll get you a blight mattress, yeah. and you can sleep here. Me and Stats <laughs> guy. And we just hear Saka. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea's gone. Oh, go back to sleep, Alex. <laughs> but, um, Watching you guys play does put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Wolves haven't lost to Villa in the previous five meetings. Really? But in saying that, I'm going to go Villa. <laughs> so, I like that, yeah. So we'll go that at $2. Jam, donut, gone. (laughs) Anyway, it's time for... It's best bets, it's best bets, it's time for all the best bets. Thanks, Jim. I have won this weekend. I'm not a, I'm not really confident this weekend in most of it, so I'm going to go both teams to score and over two and a half goals in Arsenal and Man City Ooh. at the $2.10. Status mm. guy. Going to go Newcastle head-to-head against West Ham. I think their form of just scoring goals for fun uh, is too good to pass up on, especially at $2.10, especially after their Champions League win this morning. Mm. Watch for their odds to drop. So yeah. if you get over $2, I think you're laughing. Then I'm going to go Dominic Solanke, anytime goal. I think $4 is really good odds for really informed goal scorer for Bournemouth. Nice. Marcus? I'm going to look for Ange Postecoglou's Tottenham 
to win and go over two and a half goals at a dollar ninety three. Nice, nice. And stats guy, time for break my mold. <laughs> All right, so the first one I'm going to go Tottenham minus one against Luton Town. I mentioned that before. I think they've just got too much attacking power. They could even concede one the way they play, but yeah. Tottenham yeah. minus one is the first leg. Fulham head to head against Sheffield United. As we mentioned, Sheffield are probably the worst team in the league at the moment. Uh, then Newcastle head to head against West Ham, my best bet of the weekend. Then the one that's a bit tricky, really good odds though, Man City to beat Arsenal. I think that's going to be a really good clash. Uh, that comes to $17.40, oh, which is really surprising. Bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. What do you guys rate that one? I'm going to back that in an eight. I think there's a couple of head-to-heads yeah. there. Yeah, the Man City one will be tricky. Either way. And then the uh, Newcastle, like West Ham could rest West Ham at London Stadium. Yeah, so, but, but I do really like it. Yeah. I think considering the odds. Yeah. What We're going eight as well. That's eight. great yeah. odds. Yeah. yeah, great odds for like, those Given teams, the fact yeah. you're getting you know over $2 for Man City mm. and against an Arsenal who just haven't beat them in forever. Yeah. yeah. So I don't mind it whatsoever. Good Sweet. job, stats guy. All right, that is it for the Code Bet Daily and the EPL show for this week. We'll be back on deck tomorrow to wrap up the week and look ahead to the weekend. I believe there is every chance that you two plus social guy Leo will be doing a World Cup preview at some stage today. So uh, that's, I don't think that's happening. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk we haven't about talked it. about and it. If you have it, if no. it hasn't been, you guys are doing it. So sucked in. <laughs> Sorry, Gerald, you have another show to do uh, today. It's not happening. Please get right. It's the Cricket World Cup stats guy. You have to. We are a betting organization, <laughs> and you need to just finish up the show. <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, please get around the shows. Would you like subscribe and star them? Or also, what is it? Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I think there was another one that was we recently had, but it's been shut down. So just look at those two. Uh, <laughs> this is on the EPL feed and the daily feed. I know the AFL and NRL seasons are over, but just please hit follow them for whenever we pop back up. We may even do like a random draft one after trade, not draft, a, trade, whatever trade it is stuff, after that. Still yeah. do stuff on the socials. Yeah, plenty of stuff on so. the socials. So check us out on those social media. It's a good segue there, Marcus. Facebook, yeah, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, X, and of course, that's guys' favorite social platform, Threads. Yeah. Get around it. <laughs> Send in any questions via those socials any bets just anything you want to do just call me an idiot say stats guy good job for wearing the company merch he's now known as uniform guy hell yeah I think oh, that's I it was Tinder <laughs> yeah <laughs> he actually says on Tinder I am the stats guy yeah yeah, yeah anyway. I didn't make that I think you made it but that's no right. I have a lovely girlfriend why would I need Tinder <laughs> don't worry yeah it's exactly okay. uh, thanks stats guy thank you cheers Marcus thank you thanks to Geraldo for producing and dealing with us Muppets today and thanks to me for not saying a stupid catchphrase on this show. Anyway, what do we say? Gamble responsibly. May all your picks come in. Happy punting. We will catch you in a little bit. Code Bet Daily and APL Show out. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.